Thank you. Thank you so much for this incredible honour, especially knowing the calibre of our fellow nominees, all of whom Angus, my executive producer, and Chris Bendel, uh, sorry, Chris Bendel, my executive producer, and Angus, my producer, on this report uh, feel incredibly honoured to be counted alongside. After 40 years in journalism, this interview and this story is by far the most important work I have ever done. And I knew it from the very first phone call I had early last year with a young woman whose name, she told me, was Brittany Higgins. Four incredibly intense, sleepless weeks later, when our story went to air, the entire country knew the name Brittany Higgins. As Brittany warned me before we went to air, her story would be seen by many of the most powerful people in this country, not as a human problem, but as a political problem. Brittany Higgins was a political problem. And governments tend to like political problems to go away. But Brittany never did. And the truth is, this honour belongs to Brittany. It belongs... It belongs to a 26-year-old woman's unwavering courage. It belongs to a woman who said, enough. It belongs to a woman who inspired more than 100,000 similarly pissed off, exhausted, fierce women and men to take to the streets right across this country to roar in numbers too big to ignore. Brittany, thank you for trusting me. Thank you for trusting our wonderful tight team, producer Angus Llewellyn and editor Daryl Brown. Thank you for trusting the project, our bosses Beverly McGarvey, Chris Bendel, Sarah Thornton, Peter Meekin and Craig Campbell. Thank you for helping to change the national conversation. And on behalf of all of the generations of women to come, thank you, Brittany, for never giving up. Still to come, we honour the most outstanding...